Merry Christmas. My name is Jody Pritzel. I'm the author of Immigrants, Ornaments, and Legacies, a story of American-made glass Christmas ornaments. If you bought my book, thanks a bunch. A reader wants to know, what can you tell us about Premier Glassworks? Well, let me share with you what I know about the history of the ornaments and how Premier Glassworks links to Max Eckhart's Shiny Brights. You have to go back to 1921, and there's two versions of the story. Irvington, New Jersey was the hotbed of glass making because of Thomas Edison and his laboratories and the whole electricity evolution. One version of the story about Premier Glassworks is Angelo Pioni, an Italian immigrant, started Premier Miniature Glass Bulb Company. Second version of the story, Walter Gabar. He started Premier Glassworks. He was a German immigrant, a tool maker, so he knew technology. He also had a brother named Adam, who was a chemist. So either way, Adam, Walter hooked up with Angelo, or however it mingles, we do know that all three were involved in Premier Glassworks. Now, let's go back to 1940. The ad for 1940 Christmas ornaments, let's recreate it. Here's one of my favorite ornaments. It's an oblong, hand-decorated with tinsel. This is a Premier Glassworks ornament. Let's hang that on the tree, and let's hope it doesn't break. That's one of my favorites. The reflector, another good one. You can see that one? That is a Premier Glassworks ornament also. Hang that on my tree. Can you see that one? Good. Now, in that ad, you're also going to see a lantern. Now, this lantern, I believe, was made by Corning Glassworks. This bell that you see in the ad, I believe it was made by Corning Glassworks. But in that 1940 ad, I'm going to argue that these two were made by Premier Glassworks. And you know why I think that? It's a couple of reasons. But the biggest one has to do with a seam. So if you take this ornament and you look at it, there's a seam. This ornament from Corning, 1939, there's no seam. There's also a dimple in the bottom. Now, there were only two companies that stamped their name in the caps of ornaments. One was Shiny Brights by Max Eckert. The other one was Premier Glassworks. So if you look at this enlargement of the cap, you're going to see the words Premier. So go look at your box of ornaments. See if you have a couple of ornaments that have a seam running through them, and then look at the tops. But you might mistake that top for the Czech Republic, Germany, or Poland, because it's got that style of slit. But this one's going on my tree because I know it's stamped Premier, and that's a Premier Glassworks. I also know that this one also has a seam that runs through it. That's absolutely Premier Glassworks. And also I have this ribbed ball. That's also Premier Glassworks. So I'm going to hang the ribbed ball on the tree, and I'm going to hang on this, uh, this other one on the tree. I do know for a fact that those are Premier Glassworks. And then I've got a pretty gold one with the star in it. Sometime I'm just going to do a show just on reflectors because there's so much history that goes with them. That one's super cool. So, in 1942, I guarantee you that Premier Glassworks had some of the Sears Roebuck business. And let me tell you how I know that. Look at that ad. Look at this box. That's not a shiny bright box. That's a Premier Glassworks box. So you can see how different it looks in terms of the, the style of the lettering. It's a Premier Glassworks box. So what happened to Premier Glassworks? Well, demand shifted. So everybody in the late 40s and 1950s, they wanted the classic shiny bright, beautifully decorated Corning bulbs. Or they wanted the George Frankie bulbs. I don't think Premier had the technology to, to decorate these ornaments. I do think Premier had the technology to make ornaments. Now here's a beautiful glass bulb, right? But if you hold this bulb up to the light, you're going to see a seam that runs through it. This is a Premier Glassworks ornaments bulb. I think it's beautiful, still hanging it on my tree. Premier had the technology also to make carriage lanterns, just like Corning could. So here is a beautiful Premier Glassworks. It also has the seam running through it. I'm going to hang that on my tree. I got the big tree in the other room. It's got 150 shiny brights on it, and I didn't want to move it. Okay, you never move a Christmas tree when you've got ornaments on it. 
My favorite Premier Glass ornament is this one. Isn't that just lovely? Oh, I just think that's a super duper ornament. I'm putting that one in the front because I think it's just super. Whoa, did you see that tree move? Ah. So what happened? What happened to Premier Glass Works? I think what happened to them happened in 1955. Now, Max Eckhart had sold his company in 55 to Thor. It was either Max before he sold to Thor or Son Harold. Here's the wah reveal moment. If you look at this shiny bright box, there's four manufacturing locations listed. There's the two original ones for K&W Glassworks in North Bergen and also West New York. Okay, But there's also Hoboken and Irvington, New Jersey where Premier Glassworks started. I think Shiny Brights merged with Premier Glassworks. Actually, I think Shiny Brights bought Premier Glassworks. So that's the mystery solved and how I think Shiny Brights linked with Premier. I think they joined into a single company. What happened to uh, Walter? Walter retired. He took up woodworking. What happened to Angelo? He moved to Lewiston, Maine, and he founded Paragon Glassworks. If you want to know more about vintage uh, Christmas, you know where to go, Golden Glow, goldenglow.org. Every Christmas collector, they, there's so many good resources at Golden Glow. If you're local at Denver, stop at the Brass Armadillo Antique Mall and see if you can find yourself a box of ornaments. I have several other videos on my YouTube channel, but for now, Merry Christmas and thanks for watching. <music>